This video is to show you what to expect when you will be writing your CPA examinations. You will be provided at the Writing Center with a computer preloaded with Secure Client. Secure Client is an application that locks down your computer so that no other program or file can be accessed during an examination. The application automatically uploads all responses into the Surpass Test Administration System. Secure Client will enable you to answer multiple choice questions, input your responses using a word processor and a spreadsheet, access reference material to search the CPA Canada Handbook and the Income Tax Act. This is only for applicable examinations. If your examination contains only multiple choice questions, you will not have access to a word processor or a spreadsheet. So let's start Secure Client. Launch the software by clicking the Secure Client icon on the desktop. Secure Client will automatically check for updates to the software, and this may take some time. Once Secure Client is up to date, the Enter Key Code screen appears. The key code, unique to you, will be provided to you on the day of the exam. Entering the key code will start the process of downloading the exam onto your laptop. So let's enter the key code and click OK. The exam is downloading on the computer. The confirmation details screen will appear and you will need to check that the following information is accurate. Check that your last name is correct, that your first name is correct, that the test name is correct, and the language. Once you've reviewed this information, click on the Confirm button. The next screen will bring you to the policy statement and agreement regarding exam confidentiality. You will be asked to agree to the terms of the examination. This information is also repeated on the cover of the exam booklet. To continue with the examination, you must click Yes, I accept, and then click Confirm. At this point, a warning screen will appear. You will be asked to enter a PIN. The PIN code is the same for all candidates at a writing center and will be announced once the exam is ready to begin. Once you have entered the PIN code, you will be taken to the introductory page. The introductory page will give you the details of the exam and though these details will also be provided in the exam booklet. You should wait there until the exam start has been announced. Then, click on Start the test. The exam is now started. Let's explore the screen you will be seeing. You will be in the first section of the examination, which is the multiple choice question section. The top displays on the left the section number, multiple choice question, MCQ, or case. And on the right, your candidate details. You also see a finish test button. Do not click on this button unless you are absolutely sure you want to finish the examination. On the left, you will see the different sections of the exam. In this example, you have the first section being the MCQ, then the second section is case one, and then the third section is case two. Sections could be different depending on the exam you will be writing. To move from one section to another, you can either click on the next button or the back button on the right bottom of the screen, or click on the tabs situated on the left of the screen. The reference material is available in each section and in each MCQ. To access the reference material, click on the link and a window will open. You can copy from this reference material and paste in the word processor or the spreadsheet. You now see the available researchable reference material. This is a link to the NOSHA site that you're already familiar with. Please refer to the PowerPoint presentation, How to Answer Multiple Choice Questions, for additional information. Let's move to case one. You will again see the reference material link. You also see a word processor button and a spreadsheet button. You will be using the word processor and spreadsheet to input your responses to cases. To open the word processor and the spreadsheet file, click on the respective button. You can see that the spreadsheet is similar to Excel, but has less functions available. Please refer to the Word Processor and Spreadsheet video for additional information on how to work with the Word Processor and Spreadsheet. You can move the reference material, the spreadsheet, and the Word Processor.
To finish the examination, click Finish Test in the top right corner. You will get a warning if you have not answered all the questions. The Confirm Finish screen appears. Click on Finish. A second Confirm Finish screen appears, and again click on Finish. The examination will conclude and the software will close. Your examination response has automatically saved and uploaded. Note, once you have clicked Finish, you cannot go back into the examination.